We're here at the Awe Dinghy and Water Sports Show. There's tons of exhibitors here, but we're going to focus on dinghy racing. I'm going to give you my top five picks out of the technology, kit and equipment throughout the show. I'm a wasp sailor, so naturally I'll come to the Sailing Fast Stand. I'm here with Martin Evans. Can you tell us a little bit about the wasp X? Yeah, so foiling has really come to the fore and lots and lots of kids we found want to go foiling. I mean, you're a prime example of it. You've come out of conventional classes, you've gone into the wasp and you've found a lot of success and loads of people want to follow in your footsteps. So what we've done is created the wasp X, which is a junior rig. It's 5.8 metres, which sounds quite big for a kid, but actually once you put it on a foiling boat, it means that kids of 40 kilos can go sailing and now go foil racing. So now is really the time for kids to get in a wasp and be able to go sailing and have other people to sail against. Uh, you know, it's the first time that's ever happened and uh, we're really excited. So we're talking technology. I'm here with Rosalie from Sailmon. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how the Sailmon can really help you on the water? Yeah, of course. The Sailmon has a GPS and compass heel pitch sensor integrated. It gives you high accurate data and together with the app you can have the instant feedback and improve your sailing every day. So you have a logbook of your own activities. Um, so let's take one. You can add videos, pictures with data overlay and you can have your top speeds and highlights but you can also compare. So if you have a training partner in your WASP with another Max, you can compare your data together. But that's the, the funny thing with the app, you can just improve and deep dive into your data and your statistics. Racing is all about feel and efficiency. Harkin have just launched their new Zircon product. I'm here with David to talk a little bit about it. So what's really special about this product? Okay, so um, we've been developing this product for a couple of years. Um, the beauty of this product is we uh, use a ceramic ball bearing. The material is zirconia, um, hence why we've called it the zircon block. We have um, put less ball bearings in this block and each ball bearing is separated. So what we've done is uh, the ball bearings are not hitting each other and they can't slip. So you don't lose any energy um, for friction. So it's probably the, the most frictionless block we've ever made. So how is this going to help me win races on the race course? Okay, so because the, um, the way that the ceramic is designed, the way that the sheave is so efficient, um, it's a lot quicker. It is really, really fast and very, very smooth. So you're going to be able to react to those pressure changes on the wind conditions. The rope and the line will go through this block a lot quicker. So you're going to be able to, yeah, you'll fly around the track with these. So you can't come to a show without looking at a boat. I'm here with Pom from Switch One Design. Can you tell us a little bit about the about the boat? Sure. Um, so this is a new One Design. This is a third prototype and uh, about to go into production. And it's sort of an amalgamation of some work between Element Six in Thailand and the Ferangi Brothers Garda Carbon Lab, who do the Manta Moth. We've decided to come up with a One Design foiling boat, and this is the outcome. And in terms of racing, what are the plans for events being scheduled? So we're hoping to have an event at the end of the summer in Garda. So we'll be involved in foiling week a little bit, we hope, and then uh, after that we'll have an event in Garda. And do you think the girls will race in the same fleet as the boys? Yeah, so I think initially we, we're running multiple rig sizes and we really want to cover weight ranges and we've got to be wary that it doesn't become a heavy person's boat. So there's going to be, we're probably, this is a, a moth size sail approximately and we're just looking at the sizes down. Um, particularly for, for the female sailors and where they can initially we'll probably run one start line as two fleets and then as the masses build, as the quantities build we'll uh, hopefully have separate fleets as the plan. We're talking about innovation, I'm here with Chris from Marine Wear. Um, I use Flax for the Sumoth Challenge, I was part of last year with the University of Southampton. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here? Um, yeah, so this panel is made with uh, flax, which is uh, it's growing, it's not from the petrochemical industry, um, and it's much more environmentally friendly than the carbons and glass fibres. Um, this panel's been made with a uh, bioresin from Gurit, and then the core is actually from PET, uh, recycled plastic bottles, so it's uh, trying to keep its carbon footprint down. Well if we spin round we can look at the so the cores in here and can you explain what's going on with this mesh behind here? Uh, so this panel's made with infusion techniques and uh, they typically have quite a lot of plastic and um, transfer meshes and quite a lot of waste 
uh, and this is uh, a, a product called uh, Power Ribs from Bcomp, and it basically is used to transfer the resin across the, the back of the panel, but it stays in the panel, so it, it adds to the stiffness of the panel overall. So those are my top five picks. There's obviously so much more here at the show. Come and check it out for yourself next year.